Hi everyone, this is Joy with Create It With Joy, and today I've made a card using the Reveal Wheel at Square add-on. Um, I love this square add-on. I've been using it a lot lately. It is just so simple to put together, so it makes really a quick um, interactive card. So, and it's the dimension is not super thick, so it is easy to put into an envelope. So here are the products that I'm using. Um, I'm using Lawn Fawn Pick of the Patch Stamps and Dies. Super cute. Uh, Lawn Fawn's Original Reveal Wheel because you're going to need the large circle and the small circle out of there. Then that is the square add-on I'll be using. And then the pumpkin add-on. So I'm attaching that pumpkin add-on with tape. Fits in like a little puzzle. Cutting that out of my Nina Classic Crest solar white cardstock and then I will also be cutting out a back piece that is the front piece and so obviously the back piece you don't need to put the little reveal wheel window in but you need a back piece to sandwich the pieces together and then I'm going to be cutting out the circles the large circle that you put the contents that will be revealed on and then the little circle to help with the spinning action. Just run that through my cuddle bug. I've had this thing forever, probably like 15 years, and it still just works. So I'm just gonna put those pieces aside. Now my inspiration for, for this is a candy corn, which I saw on a cute bag, <clears throat> excuse me, at the store. And so I'm using carved pumpkin and squeezed lemonade distress inks and just blending those and really you don't have to have a super great blend because you kind of want that line super cute I loved how that turned out so here's the reveal wheel circle and I'm using my T ruler to make some light pencil lines across the center horizontally and vertically because you need to have your four little quadrants to, to stamp in your things that you want to be revealed. Now on that circle there's also a score line around the whole thing and so through the window you want to push it up and on the side you want to push it in so you don't see that embossed area. So I'm just making my little circles and then I realized I need to put that little circle on the back so I can spin this around really good. So I put that on with the brad so now you can see that that is spinning a little bit easier when I hold it from behind. And on this one I kind of messed up a little. This thing was kind of moving and adjusting but actually it worked out great for the pumpkins. You'll see what I'm talking about a little bit later in the video. So now I'm going to be using my Misty. I'm going to get all my really cute pumpkin faces from Pick of the Patch by Lawn Fawn. And I'm just going to place them inside the little circles that I drew. This stamp set is so dang cute. So you could use it for Halloween or fall, which I think is perfect. So just get them all lined up and then I'm going to stamp those using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. It's a really, really great ink. And this Misty is great because you could see when I first stamped down, part of the face wasn't stamped. And so, you know, you just ink it up again, make sure your paper is in the same place and just re-stamp it. So I wanted, oh, first I needed to erase and so I'm using my Tombow Mono Eraser. Be careful to not go over your ink lines. But this eraser works great. And then I wanted to add a little bit of color so I used the Carved Pumpkin Distress Ink. And just lightly inside of where that little score line is is where I inked. And some of the ink went outside of that and so I just used that eraser again and just kind of erased that but 
I just wanted a little bit of color in there. So now I'm going to stick that back piece on with the little brad through it. And I cut out that from the pumpkin add-on. They've got the little pumpkin frame and I did it in that really cute orange glitter. Um, now on that little circle in the back, you need to pop it up with some foam tape. Because it needs to have a little bit of dimension to be able to spin freely. Look at those cute faces. Oh my goodness. And then I'm just lining it up with the back so I can get that piece centered. Push it down and there you go. Now also on this back piece you need to add some more foam tape around the edges. Make sure it's not touching your wheel so that way it can continue to spin freely. So you're just going to have a little bit of dimension, nothing, nothing too crazy. I like to fill in some of those little spots so it doesn't have divots in it. <laughs> I'm going to glue that on with my multi matte medium from Ranger. I love this liquid glue. And now I need uh, my pumpkins and I'm also I'm stamping those also in the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink ink because it works great uh, with alcohol ink markers because my idea is to build this cute little pumpkin patch with a cute little jack-o-lantern in it. So just clean them off, reposition them, stamp them down again, get a good crisp image. And then I'm also using the little like curly cues that grow off the pumpkins. And for that, I'm using the Simon Says uh, Stamp Green Apple Ink. So now the colors I used are on the screen and I'm using Spectrum Noir alcohol ink markers and I'm using OR1, 2, and 3. But I'm going to get two different colors of pumpkins out of these three colors. So these first pumpkins that I'm coloring, the base color is OR1 and then I'll highlight with OR2. Just getting in some shading. and then go back with that lighter OR1 and kind of blend it out a little bit more. And then the next set of pumpkins, I will start with a base of OR2 and then highlight with OR3. So it gives a little bit of a different look just with three colors of markers. Super simple, super fun to color. Really doesn't take any time at all. I loved this card. I haven't made a ton of Halloween cards um, this year because I was really getting into the fall stuff and being that Halloween is coming up in a few days, I needed to get one more. I needed to get this Halloween card out because I really just loved the background. It was all inspired by the background and I hadn't used that pumpkin add-on yet, so it definitely was time. So I'm just, again, just shading in with the lighter, put the darker on and then blended it out with the lighter. And I almost forgot to color the stems, but I colored those in LG 3 and 5. Excuse me. Just a tiny bit of highlighting. It's a small, small little image, so nothing crazy. And then I'm going to cut those out with the die cuts. And of course, if you don't have those, you can just, you know, cut them out by hand with scissors. And I'm just trying to cut out as many as possible. Now I'm taking my white jelly roll pin and adding highlights and I added a lot of highlights to these because I knew I really wasn't going to be adding a ton more embellishments. 
And so I just kind of went heavy handed with the white jelly roll pin. And just some little dots on the stems. Super, super cute. Just finishing that up. So now I'm using the sentiments also from Pick of the Patch and it's gonna say, I've carved out time to say Happy Halloween. So I just wanted to have that lined up in my Misty, of course, because I cannot stamp anything straight to save my life. <laughs> it's not my talent. So stamped that a couple times and then um, I'm gonna be stamping the Happy Halloween. And the Happy Halloween, I have used the Distress Inks um, in Carved Pumpkin. The squeezed lemonade was actually a distress oxide ink and the carved pumpkin was the distress ink. Just trying to get the, those two uh, sentiments lined up to happy Halloween. And with the carved pumpkin, I had to do it a few times because I really wanted it to be fairly dark. but look how cute that turned out. So now it's time to glue on all these cute little pumpkins and build this fun little pumpkin patch. And for me, I just kind of have to lay out things ahead of time. Because if I just started gluing things, I'm pretty sure it would turn out to be a disaster. And so I'm just using my um, Tombow Mono Adhesive Dot. Um, dot adhesive and it holds really good just lining all these cute guys up and it's okay that I'm going off the edge and I probably could have left them hanging off the edge well except for the one pumpkin where the reveal wheel part is but um, I did decide to trim those off even though this will be on an A2 sized card base. And what I really liked about this card was that really the colors were just so easy and simple. I didn't have a ton of color variety and I, I really kind of liked that. Now for the background of this card, this whole time I was making it, I was trying to decide if I was gonna use that same orange glitter that is the frame of that pumpkin opening for the background. Um, and that was my original plan, but once I inked up this background to look like a candy corn, I definitely needed to make the whole background look like that. I loved it so much. So I'm just using the um, multi matte medium and gluing in all the cute little curly cues that you get off of pumpkins. We grew pumpkins last year and this year, and last year we had a beautiful pumpkin patch and it was gorgeous, and this year it was awful looking. <laughs> we had a ton of those squash bugs. Oh, they're so gross. So this year we did not get pumpkins, but we'll try again next year. So just finish adding those in. I really wanted some at the top, but every time I put them in there, I just didn't think they looked very good. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna attach the front to the back, just taking the release paper off of that foam tape. And then I'm gonna line this up and stick it together, and then we will make the A2 sized background. Sorry, that little piece of foam tape was kind of hanging off the edge and so I just needed to pick that up and move it. Oh my gosh, you guys, how cute is that? Oh, I love it. Love, love, love. Okay, so here I'm inking up the background, the A2 sized background the same way and I'm just lining up because I want to make sure that the colors line up with the reveal wheel part of the card. So 
And so now the little arrow that was cut out, um, I'm going to use that instead of using a stamp set. So here I used my tape runner, but I hadn't let my back, my inked background dry enough yet. So it stuck to the top, but because the bottom was still quite wet, it wasn't sticking down. So I ended up having to put some liquid adhesive under there. And I'm just coloring that little arrow with the LG three, I believe it was, and gluing that on. I didn't want a black um, stamped image. I just thought I kind of wanted all the colors to stay really soft. And then I took glossy accents just um, on the stems and then I added a little bit of drops all over the pumpkins because I kind of wanted it to look like morning dew and, and water droplets on top of them and I just thought that would be a really cute um, addition when you look at it in the light and it turned out really cute not a ton of extra embellishments on this card I didn't feel like it needed it I didn't want to take away really from the background is was for me the main star of this card So here I'm folding my um, A2 size card, side folding, and that I'm using the Nina Classic Crest Solar White, just lining that up, all good. But that's where I'm noticing that it, the top part is not sticking, so I added the multi matte medium just a little bit and that worked. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that, how fun. Thanks for stopping by guys. I hope you enjoyed this card video. I hope it inspires you to create. If you like what you've seen, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys have a really wonderful day and a really wonderful holiday season to come. Thank you so much. Bye.